Hey everyone, in this tutorial we'll be finishing off our um, third person character, like getting all the variables set up from our IK foot traces, and we'll be moving into the Anim blueprint. So let's finish this off. Um, I know I mentioned in the last video that we weren't going to do the average, but the average really helps this thing look well. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, by doing that, we, we need to set up two other floats. I'm going to call it the um, old alpha right, and then go ahead and just duplicate that and make it old alpha left for the left hand side. Um, <clears throat> so we just drag it over here. Well, or we're doing the right one first. Get that. Um, from this clamp, we're going to be adding these two together, because we're just averaging. We're adding the old one to the clamp, and then dividing by two. Um, and then we take this and pass it in over here. And uh, then afterwards, we're going to be setting the uh, old alpha right from our IK alpha. All right, so now we have this side done, and really the only thing that we need to do is repeat the process for the left um, for the left foot trace. So let's go ahead and just drag this over here. There we go. Okay, so IK foot trace, and we're doing the left hand side. So left foot socket, trace distance of 150, um, and we're repeating everything that we did on the right hand side on the left hand side. So let's just go ahead and take some shortcuts and copy some things over. And over here. The only thing is that instead of the right uh, instead of the right stuff, we get the left stuff. So we have set the left effector over here. Um, next step we have that if statement checking if the um, hit was done. We'll get to the hip offset in a little bit. That's going to be after we do this left side. Um, so if that's true, we do another if statement. If it's false, then we need to set the left IK. Alpha to zero. Next step, we're going to say that if this is true, uh, if the target speed is true, so get speed, and if the speed is greater than or equal to 15. I put 15 only because it's a low enough number for our walking speed so that once we start walking it automatically clicks on. Um, you could bump this higher but 15 is just the value that I used. Next step we need to uh, set the alpha over here again. If it's false to use 85. Otherwise, we need to set the alpha over here. Also, make sure to connect the targets of this to the um, uh, to that node, because if you don't do that, you'll actually get an error because it was asking for a variable that it doesn't know where it came from. 
And now we do the same thing as before where we drag out our mesh, get the socket location, left foot socket, and we'll be taking from this left effector all the way over here, subtracting. Subtracting these two vectors, then you get the left effector over here. From here we get the vector length. Then from there we get the, um, we divide it by the 34 value. Technically, this one also you can set to whatever you want. I just found that 34 was a nice, um, a nice height to stop at. Um, I think the maximum that the feet go to, at least in this default animation, was around 36. So I chose 34. Um, then you do the subtraction so that you can essentially just flip the numbers. Subtract by one. So now that we have our decimal thing, clamp it between 0 and 0.61. Uh, once again, another value that you don't necessarily have to use, but I used it because it works well. Um, now we're going to be taking our, or doing our average. So get that. We're adding between the two. Then we are dividing by 2, and we're going to be setting, oh, wow, okay, sure. We're going to be setting this over here, then getting, or then also setting this to here. All right, now we have our uh, alpha, we have our left alphas done. So now we're going to be modifying the hip offset. So for that, we're going to take this again and drag it over here. And we're going to create right away an if statement. And the if statement, all it's really doing is it's asking for the absolute value between these two or these two foot traces. So the absolute value of this hip offset and the absolute value of this hit offset. And checking to see which one is greater than. So then let's just say if greater than or equal to this one. If it's true, we want to return the hip offset of the left one versus the right one. So once again, drag this node out over here, and we're going to set the hip offset to true goes to this one, false goes to this one. And where's the true node? Okay, so uh, if you notice here, uh, we're basically just saying that whichever foot is lower, we want to set that the hip offset to the lower foot. Um, because if you remember in that in the principles video, uh, we're trying to move the character down enough so that the bottom foot, when fully extended, will touch the target. And the one, the um, the foot that is higher is going to be the one bending at the knee, so that it looks realistic. Um, now, all we really need to do left um, is to connect all of these loose nodes to this if statement, so that there's no um, missing anything. So connect the zeros over here, and then there's really just two more that we need to do. Um, 
to this if statement. And there you go. So now we have a completed um, our completed IK system in terms of getting all the variables pro, um, set in our Anim blueprint. In the next tutorial, we'll actually be working inside of the Anim blueprint um, since all we really did, what all this huge spaghetti mess is, is um, to take it from those calculations and pass it to the Anim blueprint. So in the next tutorial, we'll be actually setting those animations and making the skeletal adjust adjustments. So I'll see you then.